Hello and welcome to Tuesday. Let me get right to the point. We've been seeing a bunch of stuff online about how cats love squares. Why, I don't know, but there must be something in their little kitty heads. Apparently if you put something on the ground, a collection of objects or tape or string, whatever, in the shape of a square, the cats will be drawn to it and sit in it. We've been seeing all sorts of pictures and videos over the past few weeks, and then we ran into it again tonight, and we decided we should try that. Cats and squares. They go together like peanut butter and jelly. So Mao has got um, some painter's tape, and she's going to put it on the ground, and then we're going to see if Sagan and Kepler are affected by this. Now, apparently, some cats aren't, um, but from, from what I've understood, a, a lot of cats are. The cats are perplexed about what you're doing. What am I doing, boys? And maybe they get into the box because they it feels like a secluded thing, which is like why they jump into cardboard boxes. Or maybe it's just that they're curious about what the heck you're doing. But Mel's going to finish up this square, and then we're going to stand back, and we're going to see if the cats are in any way, shape, or form drawn to this strange square that's on the ground. <laughs> what a surprise, if you put a toy in it, they may go check it out. Oh my god, he's in the square. But I think he's in the square because he's simply sniffing around for more food. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that um, our cats don't give a crap <laughs> about the square thing. And I don't know if that means that they're highly intelligent or very stupid. Or, or maybe that the square has nothing to do with intelligence whatsoever. Maybe our cats aren't drawn to squares at all. Maybe we should have put down a circle. You cats would be terrible at theater. How would you follow stage direction and know where to stand? You're never going to make it in, on Broadway. Anyway, that's it. <laughs>